Well, while well, everybody is just feeling extremely about sparklings, I'm learning more and more. Some have a variety of liquor in it. Um, some may use the malt liquor, which is a different type of beer. And some can use tequila now. Some are using uh, gin, which some people might enjoy. Great. But the classic, which before anything is there, wine gets a lot of dignity, a lot of respect. Um, but there are just some things that were created that they might not agree with, or it doesn't matter. It's for you to decide and enjoy. So if you're looking into the wine section and you're not feeling like actual wine, you want something bubbly, you have Bloom. So they're coming from uh, Washington. It's 4.5, so just under like an average beer drink, an average uh, wine pour, um, maybe a, a little shot of liquor, you know, depending on the liquors. If it gets too strong, it doesn't matter. Because uh, they do equivalent 12 ounce beer with a shot and wine back in when I was growing up, before I even learned to drink or anything. So <clears throat> this is a low calorie wine spritzer. So I don't know if you remember The Simpsons, uh, Ned Flanders was in Vegas with Homer and he ended or he started his night with a white wine spritzer so they would put kind of some maybe some citrus or just hit it with some uh sparkling uh water or club soda that's what it's called it's just soda is what it really is before you add flavor um it was just something people did they used wine instead of other hard beverages or beer or anything and uh sometimes they use now like they'll make wine specifically to mimic liquor and things like you're trying to stay at a certain level for some reason some do the agave now whole big old spiel anyways um just know when you see that that's the whole point of it it is a wine focus spritzer first one i had a good friend <coughs> that had i tried to recommend some things they were happy with what they had i don't remember what it was i'm gonna kind of go a little fancy with it i just give it a little rinse so obviously it's gonna have some other flavors plus wine and it's gonna be sparkling so definitely smells like a white wine kind of reminds me of Jaeger yeah all that fruitiness I don't know how to say about it but it's definitely a slight tint of yellow so obviously it's a white wine yep definitely a white wine Uh, 100 calories so it still fits into the low calorie things because the average anything that has liquor or it's a malt liquor focus is always around 100 calories for that reason to promote hey you don't have to do it with all the calories it's gluten-free and they're saying they're using no artificial sweeteners so the main thing is i'm getting a lot of fruitiness um which kind of entice the flavor of sweetness but it doesn't seem sugary not desserty any of that stuff so i'm not a big sommelier or anything i'm not all annoying so the point of this is if you're looking at it if you're an average person well, how do you feel about it because if it's for you it's for you psalms they're focusing on wine great um cicerones focusing on beer then you have people that just love liquor and that's great but if you don't fit in that category and you're trying to figure out where you're at and you're just you're just not that big of a dream you just want something to have you want some bubbles I will always say real champagne from Champagne France. Amazing. Just I can't even the lowest one which was like <clears throat> you know like 60 bucks. I went up like one above just it was just had so much flavor going on. They created a process that puts bubbles in the wine. When it happened it was actually not a good thing. But now we get to enjoy it. And honestly they sold it to the English and the English loved it. So we have to thank the French and the English for figuring that out this is definitely artificial some artificial flavors such you know probably berries and stuff like that not too bad rounds it out it leaves it so it doesn't just flattens out on your tongue some things are bubbly and artificial and like you taste it and it dies this kind of it lingers so the, the wine is what you have to think the flavors add in you'll get them off the beginning and the wine itself if it's not the best, it doesn't matter. It's just it's a spritzer, and they kind of lingers it into the final finish. You're having a good time. Bubbles for me help me let me know where I'm at as a buzzing wise. 
you feel it sooner, you're gonna feel a little happier, look like you're floating, and then you're like, yeah, I need to slow down a little bit. So some people wanna enjoy it, and other people, they can do wine, they can do liquor, they can just pace themselves. All this information is for you to decide where you're at. So, Bloom, not bad. I'm not a, not, I'm not a Spitzer fan, uh, this is okay. Uh, I would, if someone gave it to me, I wouldn't be mad at them. You know, I'm like, oh, cool, I see why you're drinking this. All right, fancy, you know. I do stay towards this side of the stem. First rule, easy rule. When you put your hand here, you have body heat. As to here, once it warms up, it can ruin your whole drink. So stick to the middle, stick to the bottom. If you're scared for some reason it's gonna break, just go ahead and hook it. Um, it's not exactly made for this kind of stuff, but it's just good to know. So, and always place, not drop, place your drink down. There you go. So hopefully this helps some people enjoy some bubbles. Um, it's not super expensive, um, but if not, cool, move on. Uh, it was just giving to me by a friend. It's not bad. I give it like one and a half thumbs. It's the best I could do. Um, it's better than I thought. It was more than I imagined, but in the end, it was just, this is not for me, but it offers a lot of flavor. So there you go. Uh, tried it out. Boom. Not dissing you. Just this is a simple thing that if anybody wants to see it, that they can enjoy it. And do be safe no matter what. Enjoy yourself and drink safe, right?